Hey YouTube, I just want to come up with a quick video here for you and make you guys aware of something. Um, W7 has done a, a video on these uh, massive protests, anti-Trump protests here, if you see here on the screen, massive anti-Trump protest, Union Square, New York City, live stream. So I suggest you guys check it out. But I just wanted to pay, play about a 10 to 15 second clip of this and then uh, direct you guys to, to Dabo77 um, to listen to the rest of it uh, if you're interested. But uh, check this out. And apparently Lady Gaga has been trying to pay her massive millions. You heard me right. Lady Gaga, with her 93 million followers on Twitter, has been trying to influence these protests in the streets. Lady. There you go. Lady Gaga, 93 a million followers on Twitter is trying to influence these protests. Now we know that Lady Gaga is a Satanist. Okay, um, she's been involved in this spirit cooking thing. If you do a little bit of research here, um, you know Hillary is also involved in this. It came out in the WikiLeaks um, uh, emails. And um, here I just did a quick search on Hillary's spirit cooking. And it all comes out here. And uh, apparently Lady Gaga is a big fan of this lady here, Marina Abro Abromovic. I, I probably butchered her name, but I think you guys get the point there. So you might do a quick uh, you know, search on this. But um, here's a video here. Paul Joseph Watson did uh, Hillary tied to bizarre cult spirit cooking ritual. Now... I also did a video, oh gee, it's been over a year ago here, uh, called We Are Being Invaded. And those of us that are Christians and walk in the Spirit, we can, you know, tell kind of what's going on. We have a little, you know, you know, we're near, you know, we walk with the Lord and the Lord reveals some things to us. So I did this video and uh, it explains that we were being invaded and that's, you, you know, really what this is about. I mean, because you've got massive, massive protests going on over what? Uh, the, the fact that Trump was elected? I mean, what's what What harm has Trump done? I mean, he, he's not in the spirit cooking. He's not, he hasn't done anything wrong, uh, you know, other than I made a lewd comment about some women, probably over some cocktails or something, and, and there's probably not a guy on the earth that, you know, hasn't from time to time said something like that. I mean, that's the extent of the guy's sin. So, I mean, as opposed to Hillary, you've got Benghazi. You've got, she's a, a pathological liar. You've got, she's, you know, been flying back and forth to this uh, Jeffrey Epstein's island. They call it Pedo Island uh, at least six times. You've got her husband, Bill, that was, uh, you know, flew back and forth 20 to 30 times. I mean, you know, it's apples versus oranges here. And so, and not only that, but, you know, at first word, you know, that Trump uh, was elected, Putin, you know, said right away, hey, 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 you know, Russia is uh, ready to fully restore ties with the U.S. I mean, as opposed to these Satanists and these evil entities, you know, that we have in Washington right now, you know, this... <laughs> The election of Putin could very well uh, put the brakes on World War Three. Uh, you know, which you know Putin, when he stuffed, you know, forty million people into a, you know, bunch of bunkers. I mean, that's that's serious prep. And so, I mean, just the fact that Trump's already been elected is, you know, going a long way to uh, cool things off on the uh, political scene worldwide. So, um, another thing here, really quick is, uh, you know, here's a video I did. Uh, we are being invaded. You might want to see that. But uh, also, um, you know, I've done a lot, of, a lot of information, put out a lot of videos on what exactly is going on. And Jesus said in Matthew 24 that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be uh, just before he returns. And so the million-dollar question is you have to ask yourself, well, what, what was happening in the days of Noah? Well, what was happening is, uh, you know, the, the sons of God, which were fallen angels, were interbreeding with human females. And uh, they were genetically modifying everything. And, and, you know, here we are again.
So, I mean, you know, these people that are protesting for no reason, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, trying to cause uh, all this, you know, strife and, and trouble uh, when, you know, we we have a shot at, at maybe, you know, healing our land at least to some degree, um, you know, they're, they're, they're working for the enemy. They're not working for America. And, um, you know, they've been brainwashed. So, you know, you guys might want to take some time and go through my videos and just see if there's anything here that you like. But, um, you know, I'm telling you, man, there's so many people running around this world that are, that are controlled or influenced by demonic entities. It, you know, it, it's mind-blowing, and, and people get, just can't see it because they don't have any spiritual discernment because they're not walking with the Lord. So you, I really suggest that you guys pick your Bible up and start reading it, uh, King James Version, preferably, because some of the other ones are corrupted, especially the NIV. I mean, this whole this whole verse is missing out of it. So, with that said, you know, look look at some of the videos that I've done talking about. Here's one that Nathan Lill did, but on Hagman Hagman, the real invasion. Uh, here's one the Vatican. Uh, prepping statement on extraterrestrial life. You know, he's, he's saying, oh, they're our space brothers and sisters. Yeah, right. They're demonic entities. You know, they haven't done anything for us yet. And uh, so, other than, uh, you know, walk among us and cause all these trouble, all this trouble. But, the, you know, that's another video. Here's another one. Steve Quill is talking about what I was just talking about. Uh, fallen angels, the offspring in Genesis 6 for detailed uh, study on that and I've done my very very best and I'm like kind of like Putin I mean he, he did a, a video uh, a meeting with a bunch of journalists he says I don't really know how to get through to you people anymore I mean how serious this is you just don't get it and that's kind of how I feel I mean I've tried to tell you guys you know that uh, there's a bunch of guillotines on military bases you know I did this back uh, 319 uh, 2013 so well over three years ago I mean so thank God you know we've got Trump in there I just hope and pray that he's protected and something that doesn't happen to him but clearly I mean Satan is pissed that um, you know we've got a man in there that uh, wants to stand up and do something right for the country for a change rather than snort coke and and get blowjobs in the back of limos like Obama so you know, and that's a deal you can research yourself. Larry Sinclair, I mean, he, he, he congressional testimony, you know, he, he, it, it's, a, it's a fact. So, I mean, this is the kind of leadership that we've had in our country. And uh, hopefully now, you know, we've, we've got a little bit of hope and God will stay, you know, full-blown judgment on America. I mean, I really hope. I can't say it, you know, for sure, because God is God and God is going to do what he wants to do. But I can tell you this, if you're not on the right side, of the fence check this video out here the hell of hell by reggie uh kelly and that uh, because that's where most people are going to end up going if you don't have christ that's definitely where you're going to end up going so with that god bless you and uh you know please 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 pray for trump pray for our new administration and i just hope that that he makes it he gets inaugurated i've, I've really got concerns you know before before they actually called the election, he was sitting, I think, at at 2:54, and I, I was sitting here with a friend of mine, uh, Dennis, who's a ex law enforcement, and I was saying, you know, my my spirit's just it, just saying, hey, you know, it, I, he's going to take it, Dennis. It's like I've always said, he's going to take it, and uh, I just knew he would, unless you know Hillary pulled something to try to steal it. But uh, and the popular vote was there. I mean, Hillary had nobody at her at her rallies. And, uh, you know, Trump had standing room only and people standing outside, they couldn't even get in, most of them. So, I mean, the right was clearly on the wall. So, you know, the New World Order, they're, they're, all, they're all shook up. Satan's upset. He's going to probably pull out all the stops. And so we need some, you know, Christians to uh, gather up some courage here and get behind our new administration and president. And uh, I know he's not sworn in yet, but please, please, please keep him in your prayers and uh, do everything that you can to support him. Because without him, you know, we're toast. I think God's going to go ahead and, and lower the hammer on us. Uh, I, I, got, I got this strong feeling this is our last chance. And so, uh, you know, 
with that, love you guys. If there's anything I can do for you, let us know. And uh, God bless you. Okay? Take care now. Bye-bye.